Hey guys, Rock and Robo back with some more Hero Coliseum, and as you can see by the title, this is the best top. What the hell have I called it? Top HP figures deck. Um, I guess this is the uh, basically it's the five figures I have with the top amount of HP. I don't think they're the top five HP. I think there's a couple that have a higher base than UI Goku, but I think apart from that, they're all the top ones. Anyway, we're against the level 32, who actually has a legitimately decent looking deck, just no skills. Okay. Well, this was just the tester for this game. Um, wow, I have Piccolo in this deck. Oh, I was looking at the wrong deck before. <laughs> no wonder I was a bit worried. Uh, right, let's go with this. I was worried because I didn't have anything to... Oh, I was looking at the attack deck, that's what it was. This is the HP deck, so you've got Piccolo, Rose, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Santa 18... And UI Goku. Um, I just wanted to try this for a bit of a laugh, really. See uh, how much damage we could put out with the max HP deck. It all kind of relies on one Gogeta getting built up. And two Rosé getting built up as well. Now, later on, we have got a bit of advantage. Because we've got Santa 18 there. Which, if you don't know, she buffs up all of the speed of your figures by 2,000 apiece in one turn. Well, that's a great start to the video. Um, well, what do we do here? I suppose we just have to uh, go find another game. I'm <laughs> a bit disappointed, but I'm not surprised he was a level 32. Um, it's sure it looking ranked. Yeah, that's looking ranked. We're probably finding some bloody twat who's uh, modded their figures, but you know what? I don't care at this point. So, I believe everything on this deck has... No, not everything. A lot of it has up second skills. Um, I can't remember what I did. You see, I did this about a week ago. I made the top deck for each one, although the defense one... I think I got rid of that to put something else in. Okay, Turbo Mark. Let's hope Turbo Mark stays in. Uh, let's just see what... Oh. Uh, UTG down stuff. UTG... Okay. Mostly... Uh, up second stuff with a load of UTG down stuff on uh, Santa 18. Reason for that is Santa 18's crap no matter what you put on her. She does no damage, so I might as well put UTG down stuff on and keep her alive for the late game. So, uh, yeah, that's the thought process behind that. Let's see what uh, this person brings to the table. I don't feel so bad against about fighting lower people. When I'm not using a legitimate deck, which is 90% of my games now. I don't tend to fight really low level people, but this guy's got level 60s and a level 79 Piccolo. So, he's got some good figures there. So, uh, and uh, he gets to, to star in a video. <laughs> which will be seen by a few hundred people. So, I know that's what some people like, so... But, uh, yeah, I want to thank you all again for your support recently. It's been insane we're at as i record this i'm on 860 subs so i'm really 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 grateful and really surprised at how the channel's done i will admit i did recently pay for a bit of advertising so uh i would say that's had a nice helping hand in uh boosting that sub count up please don't quit as well okay you're not gonna quit <laughs> he's gonna do more damage than me which is not good his go his go tanks and uh, Godku are going to do a lot more damage than my Rose and Gogeta. Oh man, what do I do? Well, at least we'll get to go second. Hopefully, yeah, we will. Just pick one number you like. I don't care. As long as I'm going second, it's fine. Also, I hope the audio is synced up a bit better this time. Recent videos have had a real problem. Elgato has got this problem where if you're recording for a certain amount of time, your audio starts to desync. It's a gradual thing, but you notice it more as you get to like 25-30 minutes in. And I'm recording my audio in a separate program, and my gameplay on Elgato, I'll mash them together, and hopefully I won't have the same desyncing problem. I'm sorry that the re last few videos have had that especially. Um, that's kind of on me, I haven't really been paying attention as much as I should during the editing process because I've been trying to grind out videos and that's no excuse. That's no excuse for sort of laziness, which is what it is. 
I'll admit that I did. Uh, I did try and take the lazy way out, and I feel I feel pretty bad for doing that. So that's why I'm trying to make this work. It's a lot more effort, but if I get the uh, sinking done properly, then it's worth the effort. But uh, we'll have to wait and see when this video is done. If it hasn't worked, then uh, I'm going to be a little pissed. But <laughs> oh wow, we've actually done some damage. Anyway, shout out to uh, Turbo Mark here. I mean, a lot of people don't have the guts to stay in against a level ninety nine. So, I did. I have considered recently swapping over to using Sharika online, since she's level fifty now. Um, but the thing is, what happens when I come up against one of the top players and I've got a level fifty and they've got their level ninety nine? I can't really win. Sort of, uh, I either have a super over leveled one or a super under leveled one. It's. Uh, no real balance that you can achieve. Okay, that was a pretty even turn. Waiting for input. Please don't quit. Thank you. <laughs> um, there's nothing I can really do. To be fair, this trade-off is going to work for me gradually, I think. Because Gogeta's getting stronger and he's sort of increasing the damage we're doing to his master, so... This dude must have bad internet or something. I think I've only got Piccolo with UTG down skills on the uh, field, which is a bit worrying, actually. Come on. Let's see what you're going to do. Are you going to try and face off against Rose and Gogeta? I hope so. Yeah, all of these figures have had everything buffed into their HP, I think. I think I put all of the dupes I've got into them. Uh, I know UI Goku's nowhere near fully duped. But Rose is, Gogeta is, um, Android 18. She's pretty highly duped, I think. Because I kept getting her instead of the other one. The other one I like, because she's got like 7,800 attack. So she actually hits reasonably hard, and with that speed boost can be really useful at crutch time. So I really like that figure. Quite underrated. You never really see her used. Um, I can see why. It's quite a drawback, but getting 2,000 speed in a turn is pretty damn impressive. Also, if you think that you're... Eh, he might kill Rosé. He's got um, Future Gohan and Blue Goku hitting him. So, I'd have personally been tempted to stick Blue Goku down the middle against Piccolo and put Future Gohan and uh, probably Godku behind Future Gohan if you're looking to kill Rose. But you're going to lose your Gohan, so that's not really worth it. But at least with that formation, you've got Blue Goku buffing Gohan up a bit and you've got Godku hitting as well, so... Yeah, I knew that would hurt. Oh god, is RNG going to kill Rose? Please don't kill Rose. <laughs> Please, RNG. Okay, thank you. 59 HP. So he's taken two attacks and that's it. Before he's fucked, basically. Gogeta should deal with Gohan pretty easily. Yep. I really wish I'd put my dupes for Gogeta into his attack, but I did that for uh, my other one, I think. And I put this one into HP, so, you know. It's kind of funny seeing that higher um, health value on your figures, so, you know, I don't mind it. So, Rosé is screwed now with 59 health. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with him. Um... Let's see. I think this is the time for Santa 18 to uh, appear on the field. Like I said, this, the other version is really good because she's got decent attack. And she's still got okay HP. This one just doesn't have the attack to be viable. Probably thinking he was going to go first and then Santa 18 says, Nah, we've got 6,000 more speed than we had before. 
Jesus, look at that. That's pretty impressive speed. Also, I would have gone first without Santa 18. I didn't even look at how fast his figures were. I kind of just made an assumption. To be honest, the only way you can buff Rosé to get loads of attack is if you play him with uh, Vados and Whis. Apart from that, he'll get two buffs at most. Which, it's not bad, but it's still only a 3,000 buff. And even if you've put all dupes into his attack, which if I'd done on this Rosé, he'd have died. So you can't... <laughs> you're screwed either way. It just doesn't quite do enough. Oh, God. Yeah, you just... You don't do anything, do you? She's just got a lot of health. There's no real way to make her work. Like I say, the other one's good. To be honest, the other Santa 18 is one of my underrated figures, I think. They, uh, she often goes under the radar. But I think she could be quite useful. God. Oh god, I'm getting messaged now. Please stop messaging me. I didn't think I was going to get messaged. I need to put everything I have on silent or mute, don't I? Whenever I'm recording, because somebody likes to F me over. Also, I missed that last attack, I think. Did I? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we're locked in place, so... That's as fast as... Uh, we're moving this turn. Couldn't make us go a bit quicker with Piccolo. I think Piccolo would be quicker than 18. Isn't he? I'm not sure, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, shout out once again to Turbo Mark, because, like I say, he stuck around, so... A lot of people recently have been quitting out at the first uh, opportunity, so... Credit to him. And this should kill both of these, right? <laughs> I wouldn't have taken that Spirit Bomb if I got it. I didn't deserve it. And I didn't need it. G G Turbo Mark... Um, Shout out to you, full credit. You've stuck around. Uh, you got some good figures there. If you're watching, I don't know. I talk to people as if they do watch, but I have no idea if they do. But uh, if you are watching, you got some good figures, dude. Good game. Oh, come on. Really? This is dragged out for another turn? And Rosé's dead as well, which kind of sucks. I imagine Goji is hitting pretty hard now, actually, with all the uh, the buffs. You know, that's not bad damage in the grand scheme of things from a figure that only has 3,800 uh, attack. I know that... Uh, <coughs> sorry, that's down to Gogeta, but... And Rosé is dead. Only just, you know, it was close. He nearly lived that, you know. I think RNG played its uh, its part in that death, you know. God, this guy's connection must be bad. Or his connection to me, at least, must be bad. It's not uh, uncommon. I have a terrible connection to um, AC. Uh, if he's watching. Oh, right. You don't have your ability anymore, duh. I was, I was like, why isn't either of the... Sort of any of them glowing. Well played, Mark. G G Gogeta will get the uh, the final credit for the kill. Is he watching all of the abilities I've got going through? Come on! I want my win. Because it's so important to everybody to have that extra W or that extra L on their uh, profile. Come on, give them a spirit bomb. Oh, you're mean, game. You're mean. You're mean. He deserved that. Well, GG. Um, this deck seems okay. I mean, I know I'm playing against somebody with uh, underleveled figures in comparison, but... Seems an okay deck. Seems to... Uh, function okay compared to some other ones I've I've uh, tried out so oh right Goku goes first because of his passive and Goku <laughs> Goku just glory stole this from uh, from
from Gogeta. Gogeta had literally done everything in this battle. And then... Gogeta, and then Goku just comes in and steals the victory. Just like, yeah. That Alright, um... Here we go with game number two. I'm not quite sure where I cut the last one because I got a phone call just after that battle ended. So, yeah, we're on the game two. This is a ranked match, um, which is why I'm happy enough to do it against a lower person again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, high HP deck. Uh, let's see what my opponent is running. Wow, they're actually running a legitimate deck. We are in a lot of trouble. Um, let's see. 0101 defense up second. O oh, one skills, um, interesting. You've got kind of the right skills, but they're not fully leveled up. It's weird. Right, let's just go with the. Uh, do I go with it? Yeah, there's no risk to doing this. Okay, that's that's fine. The main thing with this deck is kind of getting Gogeta and or Rose built up, and this is going to help Gogeta start getting built up. Unfortunately, I seriously doubt we're going to go second. Oh no, he actually went first. He must have had uh, all high numbers. Feels bad, man. He's still going to hit like a truck, but not as hard. So, that's something at least. Like I say, I'm only doing this because uh, I went into player. There was nobody in player match, and this was the first person it threw me into in uh, ranked. Ouch. That hurts a lot. But this guy's got a Good deck. There's a lot of potential there for the future. Merely, I'd uh, I'd be looking to cycle out that Gogeta as soon as possible. But apart from that, you know, it's kind of like your trademark decks now. You run a Vados a Piccolo, a Future Gohan for the O one skills, and then you're set. Right. How much can you do? Okay, Piccolo did an okay amount of damage there. I'm pretty happy with that, in all honesty. Uh, I hope this video comes out okay, because I have started um, changing how I'm recording my audio, sort of, um, my commentary, because um, there's kind of a problem on Elgato where after a while it uh, loops. I might have said this in the first part, I'm recording this several days after the first part, but basically after a while it um, it starts to lag, and there's quite a noticeable difference, so I'm hoping that doing it this way will mean no lag. Also, Piccolo, you've been fucked up, my friend. Uh, let's run. Let's run that. Oh wow, he's just going to keep running the piccolo down the middle. Okay, that's fine. That is a okay. This is just giving Gogeta more and more time to build up. Um. Wow, we got all the high numbers this time. <laughs> ah well, it don't matter. It doesn't really matter. Admittedly, um, getting extra attack for going second would have been nice, but. We're going to be doing more damage to his master now. It's still not going to be a huge amount. Yeah, that's not great. But Gogeta is getting more powerful, so that's that's the main thing. Getting Gogeta nice and built up. Okay, maybe not uh, achieving that as quickly as I'd like, but... Oh God, nobody did any damage this turn. But then again, none of these... I think the highest... Yeah, the highest attack is on... Um, Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, and he has 6,900 or something like that. So, like, even my top attack guy doesn't have much going for him. God, you're supposed to get more buffs than that. Jesus. Um... I'm just not going to do much damage here, am I? That's my problem. Um, uh, let's do that. We can kill Piccolo this turn with this setup. Rosé will die, but eh, that's not really a big deal. I couldn't decide what to do. I was really stumped. But I'm kind of glad I went with that. Vados can kill Rosé. It doesn't really matter at this point. He's uh, not going to offer anything else to the team. So his death will be uh, 
will be avenged. That's more than I was kind of expecting, considering we're not getting any of our boosts for going second. Oh my god, he's not going to die because of frickin' Vados. Please? Really, game? You've given his Piccolo two counters in a row, and you can't give me one. Here's a counter-attack. Yep. This is my luck. There's one counter-attack. What's the best Piccolo gets one as well? Not that Gogeta mines too much, but... He's not going to hit that hard. Oh, he didn't get a... He didn't get one that time. Does he have any up... Uh, he doesn't have any ultimate up gauge stuff, so we should be safe to live. Um... Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's run that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Piccolo will die this turn. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty certain that's guaranteed this turn. Considering he doesn't have any fucking health left. Um, I get nothing for going second here, really. I don't need the buffs. The only thing that would get buffed is Goku. And I'm still not going to do much damage to his master. Like I said, he's running a decent deck. I uh, respect for uh, FaZe Kekko 56. Provided he stays in if I win. If he DCs, then I have no respect for him. Okay, so that's killed Piccolo finally. It only took us four turns. Alright, let's do that. I've got um, Santa 18 to come in next turn if I want to. God, she's bad. She really is. Like this version. I wish I had the other version. If I had the other version, we'd be doing fine. But, you know, that's not the rules. This deck is the lowest, or the highest, sorry, HP figures. So, Santa 18 has to get the nod. Like I said, I'm, I may be repeating things from before. This I'm not going to say this is guaranteed the top uh, five HP ones. I'm pretty sure it's not, but these are my five figures that have the most HP. That's what I've done this on. Also, we have an ultimate. Uh, his Gohan's going to have... What? Um, just under 17k. Can we match that at all? Probably not. <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do that. that. Okay. okay. Not, Not what, what I was, was expecting, expecting him to, him to do. do. Uh, we're going to go second. I don't care. Um, <laughs> that actually helps me. So You can kill Piccolo. I don't care enough about him to actually justify trying to go first. Even though I wouldn't have done. I might have done if I put Santa 18 down. Because that would have boosted my speed by 6,000. Or 2,000 each. So, I might have done. Oh, come on! Stop getting these counter-attacks! Like, this is ridiculous. I think Gogeta... He's surely got a good chance of killing Vados here, isn't he? With all the attack buffs he's got on. I don't even know what kind of percentage buff he's at right now. Because he's just got an extra 15% there. So God knows how much he's going to do in all honesty. This won't do much. Yep, thank you Piccolo. You did your job. I'm curious to see if there's any chance I can go first next turn. If if it gets to the next turn, it might not, because we have got UI Goku here, who is going to hit reasonably hard. Yep. 9-6, that's pretty good. Uh, GG to FaZe Kekko, 56. You uh, stayed in as well. So, massive uh, respect there. 
And uh, yeah, level 41, so potential there in the future. Grind up those figures, get some XP into them, and uh, some levels into your master. And uh, you never know. Oh, sorry, you never know what could uh, happen in the future. You could get lucky like me and actually win a few games. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, let's find another rank match and. Uh, Actually, I've done two games. I want to play against a higher person, but I don't know if anybody's on. Let's try player matches. See if there's anybody popping up in there. This is a Saturday afternoon for me that I'm recording this. Uh, this is the one that's probably being uploaded today on the... Is it the 7th? I think it's the 7th, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the one I recorded this earlier today, if you're watching it. Alright, invite. Who's on? Chrono, you're on. Uh, Jeez is on Apex, because that's all he does. I don't know who that is. God, I've only got Chrono on. Okay, we'll invite Chrono, see if he wants a battle. I just want to battle somebody with this deck. Oh, Ninjax. Ninjax is here. You're level 2. I'm sorry, dude. Hang on, you've got 99 FP. How the hell have you got 99 FP? Part of me is really curious now. I'm going to play, because he has 99 FP, and I've got to figure out how. If he's smurfing or something like that. So let's just let's just find out. He might be using a completely under-level deck and just have been against somebody... Uh, else who was really low level but he's master level two so he must have only won one match or something i'm too curious i've got to see oh my god you look like a slush puppy all right let's see what um what you're running then no how on earth did you get a ranked win I mean, that's a decent... Dead. Oh, God. He's using that Vegeta. It's even the ship version of that Vegeta as well, which is what makes it even worse. Why? Why even do this? Um, let's just... Let's just grow one across the board. We'll kill everything anyway. There's some decent figures there. He's got Intimidation Goku, Gogeta. He's got that um, Team Gohan, which is underrated. I think it's a much better figure than people give it credit for. So uh, I'm intending to do a deck around that in the future. God, this is going to suck because I've not fought anybody high level. I'm going to fight... Um, oh, who should I fight? I need to fight one of the seven stars. Last two... Uh, Give it some legitimacy. That's it. Keep hitting him. Anybody think that really this sh that Rose's passive is kind of what uh, Super Android 17 should have had? Because that's basically his whole stick, wasn't it? He kept getting hit by energy blasts and was getting stronger because of it. Well, that doesn't really happen in the game. Some of their abilities seem to make sense, and then some of them just seem to be completely out of left field. So, I don't know. I say some make sense, some, and some don't. I don't try to make sense of a lot of things in the Hero Coliseum anymore. It just gives you a headache, in all honesty. Uh, I think we could probably just one-shot if we get a counter-attack here. Counter-attack. Thank you. <laughs> well, Zumikano or Ninjax666... You've got some decent figures there. Just please, for the love of God, go and level up. You shouldn't be playing in goddamn online. But I say that I did the exact same thing when I started. I got uh, quite a few spankings when the game first came out. I didn't play um, Xenoverse much. I played there a reasonable amount, but nowhere near as much as other people who had ground out so many TP medals to uh, buy figures when this first came out, so they were coming in with the UR Piccolos and I had absolute crap to uh, battle them with. Right, what well, seven star battles were reasonably tough. Um, 
Do we have a problem? There was Trunks' struggle. I think Trunks we kind of struggled with in the story mode challenge, didn't we? So let's chuck... Uh, let's chuck uh, this deck against that and see how it goes. Yeah, I know I haven't... Uh, I didn't battle anybody really high-leveled. Um, to be fair, my two opponents that I've bought first played well. And there's certainly potential for them both in the future. But give me... Cut me a little slack here. This deck isn't exactly the best. I mean, I have this piece of in there for a start. Um, you know what? Let's not put Piccolo down. Let's not crutch on him. And... I need to kind of save her for later. Let's just go one across the board again. Because none of my figures should die. That's the thing with the HP deck. In this scenario, none of them should die. In straight 1v1s, unless they're hit with something else that has really high attack. Holy crap, look at that speed. We really need to kill... I think it's the... Um, the trunks in the middle is obviously helping quite a lot with that speed. Rose might get a revenge sort of kill onto the Android 17. Um, Gogeta with a counter attack will get a kill, I think. And UI Goku with a counter attack could get a kill as well. Please don't do too much to him. Ow! That hurt! Jesus Christ, calm down. Android uh, 18's been a bit of a savage. But that's what she gets. She gets her ass beaten because of what she just did. Right, your turn, Gogeta. Jesus Christ, you took so much damage as well. These problem <laughs> these guys have so much health, but not the defense to back it up. So, yeah, that, there's there's a lot of problems <laughs> with this deck. It's back to my idea of theming, though. I don't I don't find fun building the killer decks anymore. I have one built for if I need need it to fight some dickhead who deserves a spanking, but apart from that, I use stupid decks like this. Let's just run with them again. <laughs> I guess I'm not quite as ah, uh, what's the? I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for. It's just I'm not as bothered about winning as a lot of the other people are now. With all the sort of modders and the bullshit with RNG, I just find fun making creative silly decks and actually enjoying the occasion where I win with them. That's why I show you guys my defeats as well. I I play games and I pick the ones based on how good they were. Whether I win, lose or draw. Although you can't draw. <laughs> so it's win or lose. There's a video I did. It's a couple months back now, but I think it was three videos three matches of me losing but they were all, all really close games and good and that's that's what I uh, I base sort of uploading on admittedly in ones like this it's a case of right these are the first three or four games I've had with this deck I'm using these because it's not good enough <laughs> but uh, yeah this uh, that was not a good turn was it oh we have our ultimate how much attack has Rosé got now? Um, it doesn't matter because we're slow as hell, aren't we? Even with that, we're still going to be second. Yeah. Of course you proc back there, don't you? You would do. Need to put you there. Okay. This should... Uh, it's not going to be GG, but it's going to put us pretty close. Right, so Santa 18, the other version, I quite like her. She's got decent attack and she has that speed boosting ability, which can really come in clutch. She is one, like Gohan, I want to make a deck around her and making the most out of her um, posing skill. She's going to take a lot of damage here. That hurt. That hurt a lot. I just want to know what the sort of plan was when they made some of these figures their stats. It's like, we're going to give her a crap load of health and then nothing else. 
All right, nice one, Rose. Trunks is dead too. Jesus Christ, you only did 2,000 damage. That sucks. Piccolo will probably add about another 4,000 on here. Only three. I'm just going to keep running this because there's no way we can lose in this position. Also, Android uh, AT means we had to stay in that position regardless. So, Right, I want to go second. I don't really fear this Trunks. I don't think he can do anything to me. The only way he could beat me is uh, if he gets if he kills Piccolo. Ow! Because <laughs> I just keep I'll just keep sticking Piccolo in the front row with Rose, Rose behind, behind him, him. And, and it's GG because, because he can't, can't kill my master. master. Right, right, so, so this, this isn't, isn't the worst team. team. Um, I, I mean, mean you've, you've got, got Piccolo, Piccolo there. Gogeta's, Gogeta's is not bad. The health version, I prefer the attack version. version. Uh, uh, same, same with UI Goku. Goku. Rose is not really relevant anymore. Rose was really powerful for a um, a while, but with the amount of attack some figures can do now, sort of the damage input they have, it's very hard for you to build him up to any sort of reasonable stats unless you build a super defensive deck around him, and even then people tend to kill him. So, not really relevant, which is a shame. But you could say that for 90% of these figures that really just need a buff. Or it's not so much that they need a buff, it's that the newer figures need a nerf. Because they're just too powerful. Right, let's just do that, because that, uh, that, that guarantees the win. I know it did anyway, but... Still no Spirit Bomb. That's uh, unacceptable. We're going first. Let's kill Trunks, come on. You can do it, 18. I believe in you. Oh, Christ, you're not going to get the chance because Rose is just going to fuck him up. That's some decent damage from Rose, but I'd say it's not reliable to uh, build him up. Anyway, with the other episode, we should be cracking around 30 minutes because this was 22. Wow, that went quick. But I do find when I'm playing with these decks, time does go quite quickly. But. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the top HP figures deck. This deck will never reappear, but um, it was interesting showing it off. And like I said, it will not reappear. And to clarify, once again, these aren't the five figures with the top five health. I believe that um, uh, Goku Black and someone else crap is uh, higher on that list. But... Uh, my figures, these are the top five because of mainly that I put all the bonuses in the HP. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.